Hey everyone, and welcome to The Witcher 1 North Through episode 41. I just killed a queen using some rubble, and now I will not take this fish and I will escape the salamandra base, because the professor is also dead, and that is amazing. That is amazing. It's a good start. I, I, I don't like loading screens, though. Just exits, just like that. Don't need to actually exit, you're just exiting right now. Plot twist! Did you see that coming? Did you just- did, did you see that coming? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ada is just such not a villain. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. Well, duh. Silence. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Nope. Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death, sentenced to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Ada. Sorry, Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. Also, my neck does not connect. I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. Scandalous. <laughs> you wish, Witcher. Hey, we're not together, Triss. Shut up. He has been spirited away. Someone will pay for this. I wanted that kiss. <laughs> oh, even when you're not with Triss, she is still possessive. Just saying. This is my favorite chapter. Even though, though there's a lot of walking in it, this is my favorite chapter. Take a good look at this city. It's gonna be gone soon. <laughs> Disappearing. You fell out of that strange hole in the sky. I Clever did. Girl. Mother says I meddle. You Perhaps. do. I know everything. Ask me. Okay. Well, the city you just saw was that really? Or was it? I I I literally cannot pronounce the name of the city of the deep ones at all. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. But you know, one of those two. I'm saying that that's those si that city is one of those two. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters, and beyond that, fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. Mm -hmm. I know everything. Ask me. Even though, again, like many people in this game, you are kind of one note. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, mother says. Right. Mother's right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. Girls should have said they want to collect one another's card. Oh, just imagine that it's actually a card trading game. <laughs> That's amazing. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. Four. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? I don't think that word means what you think it means. Even even the way I just explained it doesn't make any sense in that sentence. No, 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 no. Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. That's how conversations, to me, always go as well. You're ugly, but I like you. Thanks, little girl. Is the shore safe? Yes, 
Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishmen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Of course. She knows everything. Take care. Stupid game. Wow, that's a bit too self-conscious. Right, so there's a, she has a quest for me. And he, I don't think we can do much with him yet. I think he's pretty much just for talking right now. Deep ones. Hello, deep one. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel must be Dagonanabatai. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exactly. Okay. Right. I can do that. Besides, we're gonna go visit her anyway. So, you know. I don't want I'm not gonna spoil the whole Dagon storyline yet, but yeah, it's just da it's Dagon from Lovecraft. It doesn't appear in the books <laughs> as such. Are you happy now? Can we speak? Like adults? Talk. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Because I have two. Gul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at Crypt. We love wish humans. Yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right? Another Witcher? Gralol, exact. Disloving ghouls at Crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. I always like the way that they call him dis- they call the hating and the killing, they call it disloving. I dislove the humans that kill the Vojanoi. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Hulk. Gulpul Tal. He's very open about everything. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malal Bull. Witch Malal? Which malol bull? Bull must be. No bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm which malol bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> so if you want to insult someone in Vojanoi, just call them a witch malol. Farewell. You call them an idiot. The more you know, right? For the Lady of the Lake is a goddess of elder peoples of such wisdom and might that her single utterance conquered hatred and greed. She spoke but one sentence, one sentence so filled with truth that they had no choice. For no man and no Vojanoi can resist the ultimate truth. And so humans and Vojanoi shook hands and presented each other with gifts, forging a truce wondrous were the gifts indeed. A gold bracelet belonging to the village's founder, richly ornamented by a true master's hand, went to the Vojanoi. And an old Vojanoi looked upon the lady's face and said, Thy word can make this world sink just as it can make it burn, until only ashes remain. And as the people saw a fine statue of alabaster appear, they were all speechless. And by the lake, in a wondrous land, a great feast was held. And so on the story goes. So yeah, there's two deities basically in this place. One of them is the Lady of the Lake, and the other one's Dagon. And Dagon is leading the evil Vojanoi, and the Lady of the Lake is leading good Vojanoi. I do this a whole lot. And she's lost her necklace, I think. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, not like you would notice, considering you're wearing nothing else. You'd notice a necklace, right? You would, but... Welcome, warrior. Hello. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? You mean card collecting? Let's talk. Let's. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. <gasps> well... Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? 
He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. Okay, so this is completely retconned in the next games, and honestly, it's also just directly contradicting what's in the books, because all monsters are a separate species. They're not created out of humans, they are just a separate species. I think the only the only monster that directly turns another being into themselves are uh, the fox demons, uh, Aguadas. I, 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 I can never pronounce that one right. Uh, and they turn elves into their into their own kind, but no one else does. So dr drowners are not drowned people. They are just a separate species. So this entire story makes no sense. It makes zero sense. And I don't know why they put that in here. You should know better. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful. I have no gold with which to pay. But perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal then. Like a card? I shall await you at the end of the beach in an enchanting lagoon. I mean, enchanting. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. I'll kill all the things. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. So everywhere, basically, is what she's saying. You can find them everywhere. Who are you? A naiad. A water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Also lake. kind of a dryad, though. Let's be real. <laughs> they didn't have that many models to go around, so here we are. Farewell. Alright, so... I will kill the drowners. But I don't want to go to the village yet. I guess I could also just do her quest right now. Uh, What sort of things did I need? I don't think I needed plants necessarily, but I'm not sure about that. Geralt, you're running slowly. Why is that? I have my sword out, you know. That means you run fast. Trunk, please. I will take all of this. I need to find a vendor and actually empty my inventory, I just realized. Yeah, what time is it? 20th, okay. I can do I can do drowners. I can do drowners. I think we'll go and see the Lady of the Lake first anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go look for some drowners. So I'll make a little cut here and I'll see you there. Right, so I killed a few drowners. Uh, now I'm gonna go to the island where I'll kill I'll some ask the Fisher King for permission. more after I ask the Fisher King for permission. I'm too used to going back and forth with that. Yeah, the Fisher King is... Hmm, should I spoil that already? Hmm, maybe I should talk about that when I'm at the Lady. Well, just remember that this guy is here and his name is the Fisher King. And I'll talk about that when we meet the lady, because they're kind of connected. And by kind of, I mean completely. And by completely, I literally mean that. They 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 sleep together. This guy and the beautiful goddess. Hmm? Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm? Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm... Emphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water Creepers? No. Hmm... I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking... Hmm? Hmm? Could I use your boat? Mm hmm Take care. I'll take that as a yes. Also, what's in your box? And your baskets? And your other basket? And your cupboard. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, one thing of use. Okay, now we're gonna take the boat to the island. Calm down, Geralt. It's only a small trip. Man, I'm so glad in Witcher 3 you can just jump off places into the water and get to the boat. If you want to. Because yeah, this is a bit of detour to the boat, isn't it? Yes, it is. Also, no one ever finished that boat over there. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm gonna be doing this a whole lot. I'll show you the video once and then I'll skip it for the next times. Go on, Geralt. It's a good thing that boat is on rails or you'd have a hard time steering it. Blackturn Island. It's so beautiful. 
I actually like it better at night. I know, I know. But I do. Look at the beautiful moon. Yeah, we have another card to collect on this place. <laughs> She's tougher than most. Just so you know. Hello, other drowners that need to die. I must still tend to the drowners on the river bank. Well, I'll do that after I've talked to the lady of the lake. Hello, my lady. There. Geralt always finds the fastest route himself. Good on you, Geralt. Welcome, Geralt. Hello. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. She has magic hair. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Sheenaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vodianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Very direct, Geralt. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Okay, so, <clears throat> lots of thing there. Sheenaz was in fact indeed a, a mermaid during that you meet during the story of Essie Davin, uh, or also called Little Eye, who was a friend bard of Dandelion who really wanted to sleep with Geralt. I know, that's a lot of information in one point, but um, there was a man there that wanted to marry Sheenaz and, uh, well, I think she needed to turn into a human, much like the little mer mermaid, to actually be on land, and she didn't want to. And he wouldn't actually turn into a fish to go and live with her, so, you know, there trouble all abound. But the main issue there was that there were monsters in the water as well. And uh, Geralt went down there. I can't quite remember why he thought that was a good idea. I think Dandelion wanted to go down there as well. They went together and obviously got into trouble when they got stuck in the water, because in the water there were Vojinoi, and... Witchers are really bad at underwater fighting. I know, so if there's ever underwater creatures, you want to get them on land first before you fight them as a witcher. Uh, and, and they go down there and Vojinoi attack and they, they barely make it out of there. So, the poor guys. And they, they, do, they do indeed eventually make peace there. But it's it's a complete mess. And I'm gonna put this in I'm gonna put this all in the SE Daven video, probably. So I'm not gonna go too deeply into it, but um and it's never said that she, Sheena's reports to the Lady of the Lake or that she's, you know, in any way connected to that. But they just talk. And they the mermaids also talk in elder speech or version of it. And Essie Davin also speaks elder speech. So they just sort of back and forth. Um, yeah, that's, a, that, that's the gist of it. Um, what I wanted to talk about first, though, or first, I guess it's already second. What I wanted to talk about was these, the Fisher King and the Lady of the Lake. Because the Lady of the Lake in the books is not this woman. This is not the Lady of the Lake. The original Lady of the Lake was uh, a woman, a mage, named Nimue. And Nimue uh, has a little tower, She, um, which is also why she's partially called the Lady of the Lake, because she has a, a, and there's an island with a tower, her tower, in the middle of a lake, and that's where she lives, and she studies Ciri and her legend, and eventually she also helps Ciri do things. But yeah, she's, she's nothing like this, but she does have a Fisher King. So we know that it's this is the this is based on the same thing. So she has a Fisher King, and again the Fisher King, old guy that just rows his boat every so often, curses a lot, uh, but outside of that doesn't really talk. And uh, she has uh, a, a, a an apprentice come over uh, who is an neuromancer, so someone who can read dreams basically, uh, called Kundi Ramurs, and she was also sort of looking at the Fisher King just awkwardly and Nimue the Lady of the Lake warns her and says okay you don't get any funny thoughts about the Fisher King because he's mine so they're sleeping together basically so 
That's why I make the assumption that these two are also, you know, have, have an at it, basically. But she's not a sorceress. Uh, as far as I know, at least. She's a, an actual deity. Uh, and Nimue is just a mage. Just a mage. Uh, who teleports Siri to the right place. Near the end of the books. She teleports her towards... Or she tells tells her where to go, basically. The castle. And to help the, uh, to help the friends. I think that's all that, that's really there to talk about. Yeah. You learn a lot through Nimue's flash, flash forwards, I guess. Because it's in the future where they talk about what happened in the past. And... Siri and Geralt and Yennefer's legends and all that, which is just completely butchered as time goes on. And there's also a point, uh, I think that was, was that? Se yeah, Season of Storms, where where there's Nimue traveling until she can become a mage. Uh, and I, I understand I'm rambling a bit, but Nimue, should I just call her Nimue or Lady of the Lake? Well, Nimue is La Lady of the Lake. And uh, Nimue actually meets someone who people speculate is Geralt. And it's really weird because it's not it's not exp uh, explicitly stated that it is Geralt, but it is very like Geralt, but also not. Um, and and that's why it's weird. And then and then afterwards, she just sort of wakes up and she thinks everything's a dream. So that kind of enforces the whole theory as well. It's weird. Um, but Nimue sort of binds things together through her talking. Like every time you get a flash forward for Nimue, she's like, she tells you about what happens to the elves. She tells you what happens to the lodge in the end. She tells you uh, what happens to some of the kings, uh, Nilfgaard, False Siri. She explains a few things that happen in the future after the events of the books. So that's mo that's mostly her role. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna talk about for her for now. Maybe I'll make a video on her one day too. She's nice. I like her. Anyway, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? Milady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I do. Also, this Lady of the Lake is nothing like Nimue, because this one is more Holy Grail related than anything. Uh, which, there is a part linked to the Holy Grail in the books as well, but I'm, I'm gonna let her talk first and then I'll tell you what, what Holy Grailish thing happens in the book, but, you know. Do I believe in destiny? I do, because Siri. I do. In answering my question, you have answered your own. Destiny brought me here? I am no mistress of fate. I have seen your past and your future, yet I can speak of neither. I hoped for guidance. Very well. Even if you never know yourself, and forces propel you like wind carries a leaf, it is worth remaining a decent man. It's not wrong. I'll remember, milady. Good. Thanks. Let's speak more. Yes. Okay, now we can talk about them. Yeah, there we go. What happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Okay, I'll actually save that then, because the if I'm not wrong, that is way into the fields on the other side of the village. So I can't, I'll I'll talk about this more when once we get to the whole, the actual grave thing, and he tells you and all that, and then we have the full story, and then I'll tell you what why that is important, and why it's also kind of weird, and also I need to kill monsters here like a lot, uh, including some wyverns actually. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I need basilisks. I think I need four or three. I need more than two. To give to... I think also Julian. Who is just gonna sell them, but hey. Uh, you're one of those, are you? Fine. 
I'm not even sure if I already have the books, though. So I might just be killing them for no reason. In which case, I'm sorry. But also necessary evil. Okay, I'm gonna skip this, because they take a while to kill. Be right back. Right, let's see. Yeah, I do actually have them. Basilisk hide is what I need. I'm not sure if I need it more than three, though. But I should also actually... Yes. Okay. Speaking of upgrades, I should upgrade my, my poor little Geralt. The poor guy. Because he's been sitting around with some skill points that he can't be using for forever. And I'm sorry, Geralt. Please don't be mad. And also, I think I need to kill some wyverns too. I think this one's the one where they needed eggs. It got, like, there's so many monster quests that I always forget which part of the ingredients is needed where. But first, we're going to become a strong Geralt. Right, Geralt? Yes. Become a strong Geralt. Become the strongest Geralt that you can. Uh, don't make it too late, though, or too early, because I actually wanted to stay night for a bit. Um, well, no. No. No, I think we're actually going to upgrade these directly. We're still not on gold. Okay, so now we got silver for all the monsters that we want to kill. How far are we from our next? Okay, the next level's not even that far away. And bronze. What do we want to do with bronze? Are we done with Igni yet? No, we're not. Here, yeah, now we are. Okay, now now we'll do now we'll do art. Because I'm feeling frisky. Wow, what a skilled witcher. I am the skilledest of witcher. Now give me gold points. And I also kinda wanna show you the altar of Dagon, which is on this island. Let me just, hold on, let me just kill this royal wyvern. He's very big and dangerous. How long does it take to kill you? Okay, yeah, no, now it's not so bad anymore. If you ever play this game, uh, don't be like me and never upgrade your sword. I never upgrade my sword because I cannot, for the life of me, be bothered. I cannot. Yeah, I definitely need wyvern eggs. Um, I, oh, where did I need meat? Oh, 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 I should make potions. Oh, yes, I should. I'm gonna toss this now. I should make potions. Okay, I'm gonna make some potions instead. Um, and then the corpse will probably be, will of course be gone? I hope not. I, I'm gonna make some potions and uh, then I'll make a little cut here and I'll show you Dagon in the next episode. So I'll see you there. Or are we? No, we are. We're probably going to play dice with him as well, aren't we? Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. 